All right, YouTube, I wanted to react to this video because it's a topic that I'm interested in. I'm not the biggest on Instagram, although you can follow me on Instagram. Um, I think we're like at 111,000 followers, and I've been stuck at 111K for quite a long time, and that's something that seems like it's it's a common thing from some, some of my friends who have a large following on Instagram. Apparently, like once you hit, hit over 100K, if you're not like super active, it's almost like, like Instagram stops sending people you know stop sending you the type of um visibility that you're you had previous to hitting 100k right which is cool but i want to kind of see what other people are doing on instagram to grow like i said I, I might post man like once a month but i'm live very frequently i like to say i'm live pretty frequently a few times a month i have a lot of engagement on my lives compared to a lot of bigger bigger um instagram pages i i frequently have more consistent viewers than a lot of these bigger pages but i saw one of my favorite youtubers wavy kid kev shout out to him on um, the young bull he posted an interesting video and it is this one right here you guys can see it everybody needs to do this to grow on ig so we're gonna watch it we're gonna check it out we're gonna see what kind of nuggets we can get this is the type of content i feel like besides tutorials and getting your skills up i feel like this is the type of content that more uh, self-employed more entrepreneurs need to be be watching man and and that's what we are right we're we're entrepreneurs so let's go ahead and check this out or we're at least self-employed so I mean, yeah say you're entrepreneurs because you don't be acting like it. all right let's go ahead and watch <music> What you doing, bro? What you doing? <laughs> what was that? Oh, you're getting, you're getting his Alexa, case nice that on. Play old school jam playlist. Here's a playlist for you. Throwback vibes on Amazon Music. What's going on, man? Okay, I see. I see what Kev is doing. He's get, he's getting a vlog vibe going, which I like because you see more of. Oh, look at the power mat in the background. Shout out to Kev. You get to see a, a a little bit of the life, right? The background stuff, which is which is cool to me. I like seeing this stuff. It seems kind of dark in that room, no? You too, it's good, okay? I got an idea, okay? So, I've been getting a lot of people ask me how to grow their page, or how to get more followers, or how to get more clients, or using social media. Today, I'm gonna talk about Instagram, and what I do to get more followers. Tell y'all what I do, and what I've been doing to grow my social media. I can tell you that my, I, I use no out, no strategy to grow my, my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram, I think, is just a side effect of my YouTube channel growing, and uh, my YouTube channel grew because I just, put you know valuable content out that was my formula but apparently you do got to pay attention to the algorithms because i feel like any strategy can only get you so far you always have to be able to adapt to what's going on with technology with social media and all that good stuff so hey, that's why i'm tuned in bro he might be doing something right different than me he might he might have some strategy i need to i need to implement in my business right you can always learn from any from everybody bro because he's utilizing his time to to learn something that I haven't, and I only have so much time. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I only have so much time in my day. So if I could leverage Wavy Kid, Wavy Kid Kev, I'ma leverage, I'ma leverage his time and his expertise. Okay, I just ordered that brush, the 360 Jeezy brush. I just ordered it. Not because I'm, I need a brush or anything, but it'd be nice to have a brush for my clients to be able to use and stuff. You know, gotta clean it, but and it's just a cool piece to have. I feel like. But it's hashtags, okay? Let me fix my mustache. I always thought hashtags don't really work you anymore. Post a picture, a video, a reel, or an IGTV video. You want to have hashtags, okay? So I'm going to show you the app. I don't even I use hashtags. This is the app that I use right here. Hashtag expert. Um, I do have the premium version. I think it's like 99 cent or like a dollar. Let's just say I posted a haircut. Let's just say I did a high taper, okay? So first thing I would type in, I'll make sure that it has Instagram because that's what I'm posting. And it'll be and some of the hashtags will pop up because people follow hashtags on Instagram. People look up hashtags on Instagram, and that's just one way to get your work out there. Instagram. 
thing I wanted to tell y'all is, is reels, okay? Reels is the best way right now on Instagram to gain followers and attention to your page. And the thing is, the reason why reels is, is the best thing to do right now on Instagram is because the attention span of a lot of people now is really short. They watch reels for like 30 seconds, then they scroll by it. They watch reels and they scroll by it. But reels get, uh, reels pop up more in people's feed. I got a question for you guys though. With reels, when you guys watch reels, because it's so such short format and it's so quick, do you guys follow the people that you, like let's say you find a dope reel video of a barber, do you actually go and follow them? Or is it such short formatted content that you just kind of swipe up, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one? Is the algorithm helping barbers who are constantly posting on reels get more views, but it's not really equating to followers? It's not really equating to growing your audience because i know shorts doesn't really equate to, to subscribers on youtube so i guess for me like kind of what what is the point i feel like you're, you're definitely casting a, a huge net and you're getting views but i don't know what the point of it is like what's the results that you're trying to get is it just views or are you guys actually following these guys on reels because i don't i don't do any reels so i don't know i just know that it's similar to shorts on youtube let me know in the comments what do you guys typically do you follow that person or do you just keep swiping because you're just looking for short stimulant content you know you know what i'm saying it, it don't have to be high quality as long as it's something that is relatable funny or something that people like to watch or if you as a viewer would sit there and watch it for like 30 seconds then you know that they gonna watch it don't put no boring stuff out because nobody gonna watch it a lot of people like watching people cut hair and like in real time or it'd be crazy edits either one or the other it's not no in between i might throw in the asmr in there sometimes yeah so just do a lot of reels I think this is a great, the, the way he formatted this video though is a great way to keep people engaged. I like it. Why do I have captions? I just noticed I had captions on. Well, turn them damn captions off. Why you put the hat on after you got cut? I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> That's my uh, sense of humor. I'm finna show y'all the numbers I've been getting on Instagram, okay? You can see that I'm at I'll see 10K, these numbers. 10.5K. I'm finna show y'all my professional dashboard. You can see the number of accounts that I reached in the last 28 days. 941K. Let me see where I'm at. I don't post, guys. I do not post. Keep that in mind. Let me see where I'm at. Because Kev about to get me in my bag. Start posting a little bit on Instagram. I'm assuming you clicked on insights. Oh, shit. This is terrible. I've only reached 37,000 people. I've only reached 37,000 people this month. No, this week. I should say this week. Did he? Was that for the month? Yeah, that's for the month. So let me see. Last 30 days, 106,000 people I've reached with 111,000 followers. Boy, that's trash. I got to step my game up. You can see the number of accounts that I reached in the last 28 days, which is 941K. So if I press... It's just consistency, all, man. I could change it. Posting cool, the last cool stuff. Days and update it. So this is how many accounts I reached. In the last 90 days. All right, 1.3 million in the last 90. Where I'm at in the last 90. That's horrible. It didn't change much. 140,000. Boy, get out of here. Okay. Trash. I'll tell you where the content you got from. Oh. And, uh, most of them is real. And then these are the lives. But I did 42. In the last 90 days, I've only posted twice. <laughs> I've only posted twice in the last 90 days. And yeah, I gotta step it up, reels. man. And then these are the lives. But I did 42 reels in the last 90, 92 days. I'm gonna show you my real views. To me, any reel that gets um, more views than followers that you have is a successful reel to me. Cause that mean it showed it to um, people that's not following you. Any reel that you do that gets more than, than um, followers that you have is a good reel. You can see. I cannot believe. All my reels have the hashtags on them. They all have different hashtags. So it's not as hard as you think you just gotta stay consistent post your work post good content relatable content content that people are gonna watch pop content that's gonna make them want to see some more of your content that should be good okay but those are three things that i got to say if i do start a class i will tell y'all you know what i'm saying it, you will have to pay for it i don't know how much it'll cost but hopefully it'll be worth it and i can show y'all i can show y'all my instagram to go off of but we're gonna see how much my instagram go grow this year let me know what type of videos y'all want to see next but it's your way we can cave follow me on instagram all right where we come to a cave and uh, i'm out make sure y'all like comment subscribe if you're new i'm probably gonna sign up for marby marv's instagram course social media course I'm probably not gonna do reels though. I don't like doing reels. Not a real type of person. But this is cool. I like vlogs like this, man. This is. Is that.
that alcohol? Damn, Kev, you a savage, bro. <laughs> he sprayed the hell out of that kid. <laughs> kid hates you right now. That was a cool video. Let me see the, the comment section. Congrats on 10K. Let me hit the like button real quick. I hate that they stopped showing the dislike button. So I rock with YouTube, but some people at YouTube are a little too woke. Uh, what's good, bro? What enhancement sprays it? The gang, young goat. Um, so I don't download Instagram on the Google Play, so I'm trying to be rude to me too. What? The hell are you talking about? All right, it was a good video, man. There wasn't a lot of comments, but that was a good video, Kev. Appreciate you, man. I'm probably just gonna post more content, mostly mostly just regular posts, I think. I don't think I'm gonna do reels. I'm gonna do lives. I just noticed I've only been live seven times in the last 90 days. I've convinced myself that I go, well, I said a few times a month, so I guess that's, I need to go live much more often. I need to post much more often. I gotta start utilizing hashtags. But yeah, that was, that was a little bit of motivation there for me, man. Appreciate it, Kev. Keep doing what you do, bro. I will see you guys on the next video.